Hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Today we will be delving into the fascinating world of open educational resources OER and exploring how it is revolutionizing learning as we know it. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with an in-depth understanding of OER. From its humble beginning to its current status, and to highlight the important link where we can access OER courses and resources. We will explore the history, benefits, examples, challenges, and the future trend of OER. So let's begin. How we define OER? Let's start by defining what open educational resources actually are. OER refers to educational material including textbook, videos, courses, and more that are freely available for everyone to use, share, and modify. These resources are typically released under an open license, such as Creative Commons, which allows for legal and flexible use. In the year 2019, UNESCO described OER as teaching learning and research material that make use of appropriate tools, such as open licensing to permit their free reuse, continuous improvement and repurposing by others for educational purposes. The William and Flora Howlett Foundation provides the definition of open educational resources as we are teaching, learning, and research resources that reside in the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license that permit their free use and repurposing by others. Open educational resources include full course, course materials, modules, textbook, streaming videos, test software and other tools, materials or techniques used to support access to knowledge. So, OER goes beyond simply being free. It embraces the principles of openness, collaboration and sharing, enabling educators and learners to access, adapt, and build upon existing educational content to meet their unique needs. Now let us know about the history of OER. To truly appreciate the impact of OER, it's really very important to understand its history. The OER movement originated from development in open and distance learning, ODL, and in a wider context of culture of open knowledge, open source, free sharing, and peer collaboration, which emerged in the late 20th century. OER, open educational resource, and free open source software, or Libre Open Source Software, either FOSS or FLOSS, for instance, have many aspects in common. A connection first established in 1998 by David Willey 
who coined the term open content and introduced the concept by analogy with open source. Richard Baranduk made the same connection independently in 1999 with the founding of first global OER initiative. This is connections now called open stacks as C and X. In the year 2002, MIT made its first course material freely available online, sparking a global movement towards open access education. These initiatives aim to share the knowledge and the resources of the university with learners worldwide, providing them with opportunities for self-paced learning and personal growth. This success of MIT Open Courseware inspired the emergence of various OER repositories and initiatives worldwide. Connection, an open educational repository, was launched in 1999, followed by the establishment of OpenStax in 2012, which produced a highly quality open textbook. These platforms and many other continue to grow, offering a wide range of OER resources to educators and learners worldwide. Now, let's explore the benefits of OER in more details. The use of OER brings about several advantages. First, it is cost saving. OER eliminates the needs of expansive textbook, which can significantly reduce the financial burden on students. It also lowers the cost of educational institutions that can allocate resources to other areas of needs. It increases access. OER provide broader access to quality educational resources, especially in underserved communities, where access to traditional learning materials may be limited. Learners around the world can access open educational resources, open educational courses and materials, breaking down geographical barriers. Can be customization, customized, and adapt. So, customization and adaptation is one important things. OER allows educators to customize and adapt content to suit local context to their own context and diverse learning need. They can modify the resources to align with their teaching method and in local examples and case studies or translate them into different languages to enhance understanding. Next, collaboration and innovation. In this area, we are encourages collaboration and knowledge sharing among educators globally. Educators can collaborate on the development of open educational resource materials, contributing their expertise and perspectives to create high-quality resources. Learners can also engage in collaborative learning experiences, exchanging ideas and insight across the borders. Then, pedagogical flexibility. Open educational resources supports various pedagogical approaches, catering to different learning styles, different learning needs of the student, and preferences. Educators can choose from a range of open educational resources 
and from home, including text, audio, videos, interactive simulations, and assessment to engage learners effectively. Let's explore some examples of OER that are available for us to explore and utilize. I think most of you are aware regarding different sources of OERs. Still, we'll start it from open textbook. So, open textbooks are one of the most common examples of OER. These are freely available textbooks that can be accessed, downloaded, and shared by educators and students. Open textbooks cover a wide range of subjects and are often peer-reviewed, ensuring high-quality content. Example of platforms hosting open textbooks includes OpenStax, we offer comprehensive collection of open textbooks in various disciplines and open textbook library, a repository of textbooks created and reviewed by educators. Then video lectures and tutorials. Video lectures and tutorials are popular OER for me. I think all of you are about this. These resources provide visual auditory learning experiences that can be accessed online or downloaded for offline use. You can download it, customize it. Educators can use these videos to supplement their classroom teaching or assigning them to self-paced learning materials for students. Notable example includes Khan Academy. A platform that offers a vast library of instructional videos covering various subjects and TEDED, which provides animated lessons on diverse topics. Open educational platforms. Open educational platforms are comprehensive online learning and learning that offers you a range of resources includes courses, lesson plans, quizzes, and interactive activities. These platforms often incorporate features such as discussion forum, assessment tool, and progress tracking. Sorry, progress tracking. Examples of open educational platforms include multi an open source learning management system that allows educators to create and deliver online courses and open EDX, which provides a platform for creating and hosting massive open online course, MOOCs, M-O-O-C-S. So MOOCs are free online courses that can be accessed by anyone, anywhere, at any time. This course is often features videos lectures. Video lectures, interactive quizzes, discussion forum. Prominent mock platforms include Coursera, ATX, and Fusera. We so far see wide range of courses from universities and institutions globally. MOOCs provide opportunities for self-paced learning, professional development, and exploration of new subjects, interactive simulations, and virtual lab. So, interactive simulations and virtual lab allows learners to engage in hands-on experiential learning activities in a virtual environment. These resources enable students to explore scientific concepts, conduct virtual experiments, and develop 
critical thinking and problem solving skills. Examples of platform offering interactive simulations include FAT PACET interactive simulation, FAT interactive simulations, which provides simulations covering various scientific disciplines and virtual labs by the National Science Foundation offering virtual lab experiences for STEAM subjects. Open Coursera refers to the publication of course materials, including syllabi, lecture note, assignment, and readings made available by educational institutions. These resources can be accessed and used by educators and learners to supplement their own teaching and learning experience. The Masakatas Institute of Technology, shortly MIT. Open Coursera Where Initiatives is a well known example, providing free access to course material from a wide range of disciplines. Other university and educational institutions have also made their course materials openly available, contributing to the growing repository of OER. So, open libraries and digital archives. Open libraries and digital archives offers access to a vast collection of digital textbooks, journals, manuscripts, images, and other resources. These digital repositories allow users to explore and utilize resources for research, learning, and personal enrichment. Internet Archive is a notable example, providing access to millions of books, movies, music, and other cultural artifacts. Digital libraries, such as Digital Public Library of America and European, offer access to a wealth of digitalized resources from libraries and cultural institutions worldwide. Open source software and tools are available which support various educational activities. These resources include software applications, programming language, content management system, and productivity tools that are freely available and customizable. Examples of open source software include Moodle, an open source learning management system, and LibreOffice, a free and open source office suite. These tools enable educators and students to access powerful software without a need for costly license, promoting collaboration and creativity. Open data and research material. Open data and research material contribute to the OER ecosystem by making research finding, data sets, and scholarly publication openly available. This resource allows educators and students to access and analyze real world data, conduct research, and contribute to the advancement of knowledge. Platforms like Open Data Initiative and Data.gov provide access to a wide range of open data sets from various domains, while repositories like PubMed Central offer open access to scientific research paper and articles. Open assessment resources are also available. Open assessment resources include questions bank, quizzes, and assessment template that can be freely used and modified 
by educators to design formative and summative assessment. This resource helps in measuring student learning outcomes and providing feedback. The open assessment resources simply OAR initiative developed by the Open Education Consortium provides a collection of open assessment resources that educator can leverage to create assessment aligned with their learning objectives. Then open source educational game. Open source educational game combine gaming elements with educational content to create engaging and interactive learning experiences. These games cover a wide range of subject and topic and can be customized to suit specific learning goals. Examples include games like Scratch, a visual programming language that allows learners to create their own interactive stories, animations, and games, and comprises an educational software suite with a variety of activities for children. Then, open pedagogy of teaching resources. Open pedagogy refers to a practice of using OER to promote active learning, student engagement, and collaboration. Open pedagogy resources include lesson plan, teaching strategies, and guides that educator can use to design learner-centered and participatory learning experiences. The Open Pedagogy Notebook created by Open Education Network offers a collection of open pedagogy examples, case studies, and resources to support innovative teaching practices. These examples illustrate the diverse range of OER available for educators and learners. They promote access to high quality educational materials, encourages collaboration and customization, and support a learner centric approaches to education. By leveraging these resources, Educators can enhance their teaching practices, engage students in a meaningful learning experiences, and foster a culture of openness and sharing in education. It's important to note that these examples are just glimpses of a past and continually growing OER landscape. New resources and platforms are constantly being developed and educators are encouraged to explore and contribute to the OER community to enrich the learning experiences for themselves and their students. So, this is the first of the session OER. The next part will cover how OER is important in education what are supplementing traditional instruction, supporting how it is supporting distance learning progress, and about OER licensing, and many more things. So, thank you.